Yes, these are weights. And when I was first training in Tai Chi, when I first started training in Tai Chi when I was a teenager, I was told by my teacher that weights were wrong. Do not do weights because weights increase tension and all this other stuff. Years later, the same teacher uh, changed his story and said, yes, weights are good. <laughs> and this is a very, very prominent, very, very amazing teacher. Um, and what I want to share with you right now is Tai Chi and weights. And more specifically for Tai Chi push hands, sports Tai Chi push hands. I'm gonna show you one exercise right now, which is a crank exercise. I'm using this on, on this wonderful machine. And I always recommend making sure that you do your Ne Gong. And if you don't know Ne Gong, because you may not, because not all teachers teach it, uh, do isolating exercises for your weights. So before I show you the exercise, I have a bunch of uh, uh, tutorials on my channel. This is one, for example, leading the sheep along. So using something to get the flexibility of the waist before you get the flexibility of the hips, being able to isolate between these two. So that's super, super important. Now I'm gonna show you this exercise. I do my name on exercises. I have the flexibility of my waist. And now I add an exercise like this. First of all, this cranking exercise, and you've probably seen this, uh, I call it a crank because that's what we use it for, Tai Chi push hands. Grab behind, or should I say position behind you, not necessarily grabbing, and you're turning, cranking the opponent, dropping the opponent down. You may do the same thing, and boom, create a hole right here so the opponent falls through the hole and you crank them down. You can see me do this in tournaments at the Tai Chi World Cup. So check this out. I'm taking my, my uh, back leg and my back leg corresponds to my inside hand. My hand that is most around the opponent's neck. Let's say if you're doing a full body tournament. So I take the other hand, this is my pushing hand. My pulling hand the inside, my pushing hand the outside. Once again, pulling hand on the inside, on top of it is the pushing hand. And all of this is coordinated by the waist. I'm gonna create a shape. I'm gonna create a shape, I'm gonna maintain the structure, but having intention of pulling with one hand, pushing with the other. Very similar to these cranking drills. Again, this works the waist, and you can always add the hip later. But one hand is gently pulling, allowing gravity to drop with the elbow, and then pulling down with the fingertips, very specific, and the other hand is pushing over the shoulders. Here we're repositioning the same mechanic for the neck. So I have like a Muay Thai clinch, let me like a knee. So I have this position and I'm going to, once I set up, I'm gonna step back as if I am retracting the leg. So retracting, I use that term very specifically, the retraction of the leg off, when I say it, means to almost like rewind your step behind you at an angle rather than a full step back. So I'm stepping back, if you look at me here at the camera, I'm stepping back on an angle rather than just straight, stepping straight back. So I call that retraction. I retract and create the spiral and I can pull people into the spiral. So here, I retract the leg and then I turn, turn, creating that shape and I'm looking where I'm turning to. So I'm looking across here, I'm stepping back and I'm looking over here to this angle on this side, rather than behind me straight. So you wanna make sure that, and make sure that you have enough uh, weight that it's, it, you shouldn't feel any compression in the hip area. So if it's too heavy, you start feeling like, it, 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 you'll know if it's too heavy. So be cautious because this exercise has an amazing, amazing, amazing results for your technique. I'm pushing with the top hand, pulling with the bottom, but only minimal. I'm using the waist and notice the pivot, my back foot. I, on the ball of my foot, spiraling down, connecting the heel, and then my, now my other back foot, <laughs> I've switched the weight, my other back foot pivots on the ball of the foot. Like I'm swinging a baseball bat down, and then I spiral it back down and reverse it. So, go over the footwork a little bit more. Starting out with the ball of the foot of the, of the retracted leg up, Though the heel of the foot, the retracted leg up, spiraling with the waist, the hip is moving too. I'm spiraling down, notice that the heel connects, and then I release the heel of this, the, my formerly front leg. I release the heel and spiral, look behind you. Coming up, up, right back to the starting position where the weight is resting. So, one more time, back heel up, inside hand, pushing hand on the top, Pulling hand on the inside, 
and then spiral into the back leg. Boom, turn around, look where you're cracking the opponent, and then allow the weight to pull you back up and to reset your structure. So I allow it to spiral my, my back leg, the heel comes down, I connect it, then I release the former back leg, and I structured on my front leg, boom, structured on my front leg. All right, I'll keep on doing more of these uh, Tai Chi Wei exercises. I'm gonna be doing a lot more structured stuff for you guys, and I hope this is helpful, love you.